Special thanks to Roboform Password Manager for sponsoring a portion of this video. Okay, so this is a little bit different than my other videos, but I wanted to switch things up this year. New year, new me, so let's talk about the best Mac apps that you might not have heard of that could change the way you use your Mac. So the first app that I wanted to highlight is Hidden Me. If your desktop is starting to look like this because, well, you're actually working and randomly saving files on your desktop, Hidden Me is going to make your desktop look a lot cleaner. So basically what you do is just launch the app and you'll get this little icon on your menu bar. Just click it and click on the Hide Desktop Icons text and you're done. It's like nothing ever happened. Now you can also configure this to where you can double click on your desktop and it'll show your icons right away. It's super convenient if you're kind of a neat freak. Now the next one is my most used app on my Mac and it's called Unclutter. It's basically a way for me to quickly jot down notes that I can easily access by swiping down from the menu bar. And inside Unclutter, you actually have three different windows. You have your clipboard history, so you can go back and forth between what you've copied and pasted, and you can also favorite them, which is really nice. Now on the left side is where you can drag and drop files for easy access. So for example, I want a certain photo or PDF that I need access to on a daily basis. I know where those files are at all times. Then on the last window to your right is where you can jot down your notes. It's a pretty useful tool that I think a lot of people are going to want. Next up is more of a party trick if you own the new 14 inch or 16 inch MacBook Pro with a notch. So basically what this app allows you to do is quote unquote, get rid of that notch by blacking out your menu bar. And that's all there is to it. Since these new MacBooks have mini LEDs, the black menu bar actually blends in really nicely with the notch, which makes it disappear. So if you're annoyed by that notch that Apple put on the 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pros, then download this ASAP. There's really no other purpose for it other than that, but if you want a more uniform looking menu bar, then this is a pretty useful app. Now, before we move on to the next app, I wanna quickly thank Roboform Password Manager for sponsoring a portion of this video. If you haven't had a chance to get a password manager for any of your socials, it's really important to do so, especially in the time that we live in where hackers can access your account and lock you out if you keep using the same password over and over again. With Roboform's password generator, that's not gonna be an issue anymore. Whether it's for your social media accounts or logins to your favorite streaming services, having a password manager that can create unique passwords, store those passwords safely and encrypted, and also be able to quickly log you in with a click of a button is really convenient. Now, if you click the link in the description below, you can get 30% off Roboform Everywhere, which gives you access to Roboform on your Mac, Windows, Android, or iOS devices for an entire year for less than $17. Some password managers will charge you $30 for an entire year, so make sure to grab this deal because it's worth it, and in my opinion, is the best password manager for Mac. It's my go-to password manager, and I'm sure you'll love it too. Again, click that first link in the description so you can get 30% off Roboform everywhere. Okay, so there's actually a bunch of different apps that does the same thing as Magnet, but I've been using this for the last year or two and it's been pretty incredible. And if you've ever used Windows 10 or Windows 11, the snap feature on Windows is actually one of my favorite features that's built into Windows. I'm actually surprised that macOS doesn't have this as a standard feature. So basically what Magnet allows you to do is give you options to not only snap your main window to the right or left side of your screen, but also give you quick access to snap your windows to the corners or even your secondary display. Now there's a ton of keyboard shortcuts that can snap to smaller grids or only use two thirds of your display, but I really only use Magnet to drag my windows to the left or right and drag the second window that I have on the opposite side and have a 50-50 split between the two apps. Now this next app is kind of a hilarious find and one that I actually looked up to see if someone made an app for it. And this app is called Keyboard Clean Tool. 
So if you're the type of user who's using a MacBook and you wanna clean your keyboard from oils or your keyboard is just pretty nasty but don't wanna turn off your computer to properly clean it, well, this app will lock your keyboard by pressing this button. And once you go ahead and clean your keyboard, you can click that button again and you can start typing again. It's a really useful app for me since I like to keep my tech products as clean as possible. So this really helps with that. All right, so this next app is for all my video editors out there, or maybe you just like to download YouTube videos, but PullTube is a pretty neat app that I actually just found through my buddy, Andrew Edwards. It's an app where you can basically download YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook videos. Now, the cool thing about this app is that you can also trim the clips right inside the app. And you can even convert those files to different file formats, which is really useful if you just want an audio from a video, which I actually use quite often. Now I've tried a bunch of other apps similar to PullTube and there's nothing out there that I know of that has an all-in-one solution like theirs. So if you like to download videos off of YouTube or TikTok, then this is a really good app to check out. Now, last but not least is probably my favorite app that I actually just started using recently because of my new desk setup behind me. And if you've ever used a cinema display, Thunderbolt display, or the LG Ultrafine monitors that was made specifically for Macs, then you know that you can easily change the brightness settings by using the keyboard shortcuts on your Mac. So what Lunar allows you to do is basically let you change your monitor's brightness from your keyboard, even if it's not a Mac ready monitor. So for example, this gaming monitor, I plug my MacBook in, which is an ASUS monitor from 2017. I can launch Lunar and it'll show me the options to change the monitor's brightness with a slider or presets using the drop-down menu from the menu bar. But what's even better than that is the fact that I can quickly toggle the brightness using F1 or F2 on my keyboard, just like native Mac OS controls and adjust it on the fly. It's super useful and it's been an incredible addition to my list of apps that I use every day. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me. If you have any apps that I should check out or maybe make a video on, maybe a part two, then let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out the other videos that I've uploaded on this channel. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.